okay. He's coming home. Who's coming home? Gary. The last time we left the Ewings, they had just thrown their annual barbecue, a Dallas Braddock tradition. JR unintentionally spooked Pam off of a hayloft, causing her to lose her baby. Sue Ellen hit the bottle pretty hard. Bobby was torn between his birth family and Pam, but the elder Ewings begged them to keep the family intact. Also, JR was up to some shady dealings with both business and women. But I'm sure that's all in the past and it won't come into play for the next 10 years. We open with everyone awkwardly trying to get along, even in their own little silos. Ellie and Jock are playfully sniping over his backgammon game. JR and Sue Ellen are miles apart even though they're sitting right next to each other. And Bobby and Pam are enjoying time in the pool. Five letters, water markers. Louise. Ellie muses about the importance of the cattle raising side of the family business and how nostalgic she gets for the sales. Gary was always a cowboy among my sons. He really loved this ranch, like I do. We also get the sense of a couple of splits in the family that were only implied in the first season. Ellie and the heretofore unseen Ewing brother Gary are the cattle people in the family. Jock and JR are the oil men. Bobby is the one who wants to go his own way. Ever notice how quiet it gets when my daddy's name is mentioned? I wonder why that is. This inadvertently reveals that Bobby is going to an oil junket in Vegas, something that Pam is shocked to hear. It's decided that Jock will take JR and Lucy to the Cattlemen's Association and Bobby and Pam will head to Vegas. Sue Ellen and Lady Macbeth are way in between Jock and JR to ensure that JR bonds with Jock. She fears that Bobby is becoming Jock's favorite. JR, for his part, pitches a high inside fastball at her, telling her if she wants to stay in the family, she'll leave him alone to take care of his own business. So if you want to keep sleeping between those satin sheets, don't you ever try to tell me how to run my bed. Meanwhile, Ray Krabs catches Lucy sneaking away from the Cattlemen's Association show to go see her mom, Valene, played by Joan Van Ark. If you remember from the previous season, Valene was chased halfway across the country and threatened with violence by JR's thugs. They went after her. They caught up with her all the way over to Virginia. And they took back the baby. Me. That explains the clandestine meetings. Valene tells the story of meeting Lucy's father, Gary, and how the Ewings crushed their marriage because Gary wasn't strong enough to stand up to JR and took to the bottle. Back in Vegas, a waiter storms into Pam and Bobby's room, trying to clean up the place, and when Bobby confronts him, he sees that it's his own brother, Gary. Gary. In the flesh. <laughs> Gary and Bobby's emotional reunion is truly touching, and Pam gets to meet Gary for the first time. Gary tells Pam and Bobby about his struggles with alcohol and gambling addiction, but he also says that he's overcome them. Pam and Gary bond over their mutual hatred of JR, and Pam gives Gary the real skinny on how Lucy is turning out. She's sweet. Oh, Bobby, she's a wild cat. Pamela. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not describing the Lucy I know. It's a sincerely sweet moment as Gary is set up as a tender and fragile man with feelings and insecurities. Just the kind of guy that would be torn apart at South Fork. You also get the sense that Bobby is so excited to see Gary again that his blind spot to his family's corruption rears its ugly head. Hey, come on now. JR's not that bad. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby demands that Gary return to South Fork because everything will be different now. Gary decides to come home for a visit, giving us a tearful reunion with Miss Ellie. Oh God, you made Barbara Bel Geddes cry. Now I'm gonna cry. Lucy is also bowled over to see her father for the first time. Jock and JR force a scene where Gary is put on the spot to forgive them. That's the worst possible way to handle interpersonal struggles outside of maybe going on Dr. Phil. Gary admits to Bobby that he's struggling, but also it's good to be home and see everyone, even JR. Miss Ellie, of course, inadvertently guilts him into joining the family business once again. Pamela gets a call that her father was found drunk and half dead in the street, no doubt a consequence from last season's barbecue. Lucy reunites Valine and Gary, and it's clear that there's still a spark there. 
Valian is very worried about Gary returning to South Fork, but she agrees to return with him anyway. With news that everyone is going to be one big happy family again, JR has his accountant cook the books on a failed tech company so that it can be handed off to Gary. Then when Gary fails, it will drive him right back to the bottle and off South Fork for good. Jesus, John Ross. I don't really want to say too much about this one as it's the first part of a two-parter, but it is good to be back. I really like David Aykroyd's sensitive portrayal of Gary Ewing, a character always on the edge. It's understandable why he was recast before the spinoff, but it does bring a lot of compassion and sympathy to the character. We also start to get a hint here of the more cartoonish villainy J.R. will resort to, and the lengths to which Bobby and Miss Ellie will go to apologize for his behavior, even though their loved ones can see right through him. More to come in the back half of this two-parter, but this is a welcome start to the season.